Okay, if you want to use Turnitin's AI detector to check for student AI usage on assignments, uh, the first thing you need to do on Canvas is to ensure that you've enabled Turnitin for whichever assignment you want to be checking. So right now I'm in a regular assignment that I've already created. This should look familiar to anyone who's created assignments in Canvas. Um, but I want to go back and edit that to see if I indeed have the Turnitin enabled when I first created the assignment. And this should look familiar. This is where you edit your assignment, but it's also uh, what the page looks like when you first create your assignment. And you can choose all these different options of points and submission types and things like that. One of the options, if you keep going down here, is plagiarism review. And if your institution and your Canvas or whatever has the option to use Turnitin, you'll be able to select none or turn it in. We've got Turnitin selected, and then you can poke through here and look at all the options or customizations you want with Turnitin as well. Once that's turned on, then you are able to check student assignments, individual student assignments for the AI. So here I am in the speed grader looking at an individual student assignment. And you'll see the normal sort of Turnitin report here shows 13% uh, similarity, which as you may know is pretty normal. It's just basic use of uh, stock kind of transitional phrases and things like that. So it's not anything that would send off any alarm bells for plagiarism. Um, but if I click on this 13, it takes me into another part of Turnitin where I am able to check for the AI as well. And you'll see over here that it is indicating there is 93% AI. And of course, there's a disclaimer here. Um, it is true that AI detectors are not perfect. But in my experience, if you're having enormous swaths of the paper as registering positive for AI, such as this one, if I click on this, it will show me that there's huge chunks that appear to be generated by AI. Um, I am very comfortable uh, that this paper is absolutely AI generated and I would have no qualms about um, you know, applying appropriate consequences depending on the situation if that wasn't allowed. Um, if it's a lower percentage or it's scattered throughout the paper in a different way, I would be very cautious because um, sometimes things like Grammarly uh, usage can also affect this AI number. And of course, it's always best to have multiple data points before you accuse someone of AI, uh, you know, give them a chance to explain or show you their draft process or something like that. But in my experience, there are hardly any false positives or there are none. There are no false positives that will show enormously high rates like this and show um, lots of different uh, paragraphs and chunks that are showing up as AI. Um, if, if you want to check for yourself, look at other student submissions that you're fairly certain aren't AI, and you'll see that this number is extremely low, 0, 1%, 2%, 3%, and it's very rare to have uh, anything anywhere remotely approaching 90 or 100%. So I would be comfortable saying that this is AI.